Music clubs and theaters still trying to rebound from the pandemic. Most of them now require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test to attend events. So what impacts are those safety protocols having on those local venues? News 5's Jesse Schultz explains. Music venues like the Grog Shop have had sold out concerts like tonight's throughout these fall months. But despite that, there are some concerns that COVID-19 will be the main act looming over the music industry for a long time. Whether it's a rock show, it's my happy place, or a classical performance at Severance Hall. The energy of live music, I'm so excited, is contagious. Whatever music it is, just hearing live, great live music, is really essential to people. And no matter the difference of genres, venues throughout Northeast Ohio have implemented the same protocol to fight something else that's contagious, COVID-19. You have to show proof of vaccination or a negative test within 48 hours of entry and wear a mask while you're there. No one likes to do this, but I think they understand that it's the price to pay to, to be able to enjoy the concert and not be concerned. So Andre Grimley is the CEO of the Cleveland Orchestra. He says that they've even required the entire orchestra to be vaccinated. The overwhelming majority of our audience members have welcomed these protocols. But concerns of COVID-19 can still run the show and will for a while. We have to live with this and the events of the past weekend just demonstrate that uh, this is not over. The Cleveland Orchestra canceled two shows due to a musician testing positive for COVID-19. So it was a breakthrough infection, which we know happened, which is why, again, we have these health protocols in place. Grimley hopes their protocols show concert goers that they're safe inside their facility. And I think it, you know, it shows you how seriously we take the health of our, of our players, our staff, and of course our audience members. And it's the COVID protocols that have people we spoke to feeling comfortable enough to attend concerts. It is a little bit on my mind, but um, like before COVID, I went to like a concert at least like every month. So I'm just excited to get back into going to concerts again. Reporting in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5. Cleveland Orchestra is offering refunds to ticket holders. Tickets can also be donated or exchanged for a future performance.